Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am here with the Banana Pi M3 running Android 5.1.1. And I wanted to show you some awesome arcade games running on this unit using the AFBA emulator that's available for Android. This board has an 8 core, 1.8 gigahertz A7 CPU, 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, a Power VR SGX 544MP. It has Ethernet, USB ports, it has a microphone built in it, an IR port, SATA port, USB on the go. This board is packed with features. Now I did, um, I added a heat sink and a fan to it because it was down clocking the CPU. So let's get into it and see how it performs. I'm going to be using a few games that I have already played on several other um, I'm going to be using a few games that I have already done videos on and the reason for this is because I know how they're supposed to run and we'll be able to tell if they're running at full speed or any graphical glitches or anything like that. As of making this video my internet has been out for about 14 hours and I'm going freaking crazy. I downloaded this last night before I went to sleep and I was unable to download the packages. Usually it shows me a screenshot and a description of the game. I'm dying here with no internet. We'll start in Blazing Star here. Now this is a Neo Geo game. You will need a Neo Geo BIOS in the same folder as the ROM. I've set up a PS3 controller. Press and select to insert some coins and we're gonna get into it. So I have tested this on a bunch of different boards and the Raspberry Pi runs this very well. But we're not on the Raspberry Pi, we're on the Banana Pi M3. And it looks like it's running really good. The, the big thing is with the Banana Pi M3 is on paper, in the books, it kills the Raspberry Pi. But the development for the software is not there. The optimization for the software is not there. So that's why a lot of these emulators that you're seeing me run on this board run better on the Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm not knocking uh, Banana Pi at all. They sent me this board to review and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna review it. This has the potential to be a really, really good development single board computer. I have tried Ubuntu Mate on it and it runs very, very good. It runs way faster than the Raspberry Pi version. Now we're using Android 5.1.1 and um, a lot of these emulators are not performing like, like they should be. Um, and that boils down to the optimization of the Android or whatever operating system we are running on the banana pie at the time of doing any of these videos and if if there was a development team that had the know-how to make this you know to optimize the android build here even the ubuntu mate and stuff like that on the banana pie this can be a game changer this board has the specs it really does it has the specs to destroy but it's not there yet sweet so the game it runs very well so i'm gonna get out of here and i'm gonna try another game and I you know, I'm not knocking anybody, any company at all. I do appreciate the review unit that I received. The big thing is this Android version is really, it's not ready. Now everything, the UI and all that runs amazingly, but these, the apps and the emulators that I have tried just do not cut it. I uploaded a PSP video, as you can see, and the specs, this should have killed the PSP emulator, at least run a lot better than it did. Now when we uh, 
hopefully in the near future, we can get some good development going on. Oh, I need to press select to enter, insert the coin. So here's Don Pachi. Now this runs great. Now I could tell you, I haven't even tried it, but I guarantee this board runs Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy SNES, NES, Genesis perfectly. I mean, I bet it, it does an amazing job, and I'm going to make videos on it. It's running this uh, F FBA emulator. Freaking great. What I'm going to do is try to get RetroArch installed within uh, a, a build of Ubuntu Mate or a build of Linux that's available, and we'll see the performance from there. Come on, baby. Now I do, I am loving this this uh, unit actually. You know, I, everybody wants a Nvidia Shield TV console power, but you're not gonna get that for the price. The Nvidia Shield TV console is a $200 unit, and in my opinion, it's really not even worth the $200. It does a amazing job on emulation and gameplay. But the $200 price tag really is where a lot of people are getting hit and saying, man, this is just... If it was an $100 board, it would. I would suggest getting one to everybody. Save your money and get one. But for $200 right now, the NVIDIA Shield TV isn't even worth the price. Now we're getting some lag here, and I know there's a bunch of stuff going on. We're going to get in here and destroy this last guy. Look at what we got here. A multi-assault tank. Watch yourself, kid. Bam. Did you feel that? I bet he did. All right. Back out. We're going to try something else here. So it's running this pretty well. Um, I cannot wait until I move on to some Ubuntu Mate. I still have a lot of emulators that I need to try on the Android version. If you're into, you know, these development boards, this is a cool little board. I mean, it is packed jam with everything you need on a board. Let's go with Children of the Atom. Well, for some reason, that's not working. So we're going to try something else. Let's go with uh, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Insert a few coins here. Let's choose Blackheart and we'll do Akuma. Turbo mode. Sweet. Oh, Blanca and Beast back there hanging out, cooking some chicken. Very cool. The, this runs amazing. Ready, Blackheart? Ah, there we go. Good deal.
definitely full speed emulation on this game. It is very fast and there's no graphical interference or any graphical glitches that I see at all. Come on Zangief, get on the ground boy. Sweet. I'm impressed. I really do. Uh, the performance of the FBA emulator is very good. So we'll just go with one more really quick, and it's going to be a little off Kelter, but we have Mega Man 2 The Power Fighters. This is a really cool um, fighting game based on Mega Man, obviously. Pretty much boss battles. Mega Man boss battles. Um, I'm going to choose Proto Man. We'll rescue Roll. And we'll destroy Wall Man. <laughs> so, as you can see, we're sitting here. And it's. I have nothing else but shoot and jump, so. I love Mega Man, though, so this game would. If I would have seen this in an arcade near me, I would have played this all the time. I would have wasted a bunch of quarters in this thing. Come on, Stone Man. Stoned Man. Yeah, so I'm freaking out right now. My internet's been out. Oh, man. I just don't want to waste any data on my phone because I'm running low on it. It's just ridiculous, man. I'm with Time Warner Cable. I called him, and you know you get the spiel. We know that there's an outage in your area. We can't do anything else about it. We'll get it fixed as soon as possible. They don't give a So that's it. That's the FBA emulator running on the Banana Pi M3. Runs amazing, runs great. So this is on the Android image that they have available on their website. And this is Android 5.1.1. Pretty cool. Uh, does not come with the Play Store installed. You need to do that yourself. And I can make a tutorial if it is a high enough demand. I'm not sure how it's going to be, but let me know if you guys want to see anything else running on this unit. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below or send me a private message. And like always, thanks for watching.